Here's a couple of approaches for how to reduce fractions. And let's say we've got this fraction, 36 over 40. And one method to reduce a fraction is to divide both the numerator and the denominator by something. And uh, let's say in this case we'll say, okay, 36 and 40 are both divisible by 2. So we'll divide them both by 2. So 36 divided by 2 is 18. 40 divided by 2 is 20. Well, both of these numbers, 18 and 20, are even, so we know we can reduce again. And in this case, we'll reduce it by 2. 18 divided by 2 is tw uh, 9, and 20 divided by 2 is 10. So now our new fraction is 9 tenths. 9 tenths, neither of these numbers can be divided by something other than 1. And if you divide by 1, if you reduce by 1, 9 divided by 1 is 9, and 10 divided by 1 is 10. So you're done. And so once you get to the point where both numbers, uh, they're, it's called relatively prime, so you can't divide any of these numbers by something other than 1, uh, it means you're done. So this means 36 over 40 is equal to 9 tenths. So even though 9 is separated from 10 by 1, and way over here, 36 is separated from 40 by 4. And a lot of people think, well, 9 tenths has to be bigger than 36 over 40 because 9 is closer to 10. Um, that's just not true. Uh, it turns out 36 fortieths and 9 tenths are exactly the same. They're equal. They're equal fractions. And actually, this 18 twentieths in the middle is also equal to both of these other fractions. So all three of these fractions are equivalent is the fancy word for it. Another approach for how to reduce the same fraction. So we got 36 over 40, and we better get the same answer, 9 tenths. So here's another approach. Um, let's factor both of these numbers into primes. So let me focus on 36 for a second. So I'm going to say, well, 36 is equal to 9 times 4. And then I can say, oh, but 9 can be fact factored to 3 times 3. <clears throat> and 4 can be factored to 2 times 2. So we've got 3 times 3 times, because that's this times right here, 2 times 2, and that's this 4, over. Well, let's do the same thing with 40. Let's factor it until we get nothing but primes. Well, 40 is uh, 4 times 10, and then 4 can be factored to 2 times 2, and then 10 can be factored to 2 times 5, and then we're going to multiply those, because this times right here is this times here. 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 5 is 10. Now that we've got the, the fraction factored into primes, we can say to ourselves, hey, look at this. 2 over 2 is equal to 1 over 1. And then we can say 2 over this 2, or this 2, it doesn't matter which one we choose, I'll choose this one. 2 over 2 is equal to 1 over 1. So now, instead of 3 times 3 times one to, uh, 2 times 2, we now have 3 times 3 times 1 times 1. And 3 times 3 is 9, times 1 times 1 is 9. And down here, instead of having 2 times 2 times 2 times 5, we have 1 times 1 times 2 times 5, which equals 10. So now, we've shown that 36 fortieths is equal to 9 tenths. So you have two different ways. Uh, this way, I don't know what it's called. Let's call it the dividing way to reduce. And down here, it's factoring into primes method.